Hi, Jim Tarimon here, Hi, Tech Dubai. Today I'm going to introduce to you a, an affordable coffee maker that is capable of grinding uh, coffee beans, then after grinding, brew it directly on one machine. And this is the Caffino Italia. I'm not so familiar and maybe you are also not familiar with the brand. It's a two-in-one grind and brew automatic coffee maker. Automatic because when you put coffee beans in this machine, after it grinds the coffee beans, it will be directly brewed. And in just about 8 to 10 minutes, you have your hot coffee. I said it's affordable because you can buy this uh, coffee maker at only about 3,000 pesos. I bought this from online through uh, Lazada, but actually this is distributed by uh, King Store in the Philippines. Ito na yung specs or specifications ng uh, Caffino Italia according to the manufacturer. This model number 92710 can brew coffee in about 3 to 8 minutes under 78 degrees Celsius. The carafe can hold about 6 cups or 750 ml of brewed coffee. I will explain that later na hindi siya totoo talagang 6 cups. <laughs> okay. And its water tank can store up to 800 milliliters. The bean bags can hold about 90 grams of coffee beans and that's about a cup size. It can consume 680 to 820 watts of electricity an hour. This coffee maker is sleek and modern design. The width is only 160 mm or about half a foot while the height is 388 mm millimeters or about 15 inches tall while it's about a foot from front to rear. Isa-isahin natin ipakilala sa inyo yung mga parts ng uh, coffee maker na to, from top to bottom. Okay? This one, this is a knob. Ito yung adjustment for the thickness of your grind. Kung gusto mo ng medyo malaki or coarser or finer na coffee beans, so i-adjust mo to siya. But uh, the manufacturer says Nag-recommend uh, siya na ilagay mo na lang sa setting in the middle, okay? So meron siya dito ng uh, adjustments. Then, uh, you have here the cover. The cover of the bean box. The bean box is here. Dito mo ilalagay lang sa itaas yung coffee beans. Then, it can actually uh, accommodate about 90 grams of uh, coffee or beans. Then, here is the control panel. Uh, you have here the on and off switch then you have here the adjustment the control for kung gusto mo fine or coarse the coffee beans in grinding niya at saka itong sign na ito is for the um, kung mag, mag uh, brood ka using a ground coffee okay then here you can see 246 this would be the number of uh, amount of coffee that you want to, to, to brew so, talaga is 2, 4, 6, which is also equivalent to the level of measurements here in the carafe, 2, 4, 6, okay? But, yung 2 dito, uh, it's not really 2 cups, okay? <laughs> I will, I will uh, uh, give you an idea later on that, okay? Now, this is the uh, final support. If you uh, pull this to your towards you, Magbubukas yan. Then you go to, uh, lagay mo sa left, sa, sa wala mo, okay, sa kaliwa. So, this is now the uh, funnel, okay. This is the funnel support, kasi yung funnel nasa, nasa loob. This is the funnel cover, and you have the filter, a permanent filter. I advise you to use a coffee um, paper para yung filter na papel para mas... Uh, preserve mo yung uh, life ng uh, regular filter. Then, the, this is the funnel. Okay? The funnel, funnel talaga ng forma. Okay? At sa baba niya, meron siyang anti-drip mechanism. Yung anti-drip mechanism, may spring yan. Dito yung tatama yung uh, itaas ng carafe. Magpupush siya. Pag push dyan, tatagas yung ano, kape. Okay? Dadalo yung kape. Pag malulis yung, yung spring na yan, uh, hindi siya dadaloy kasi naka-lock siya. Kaya tawag nito is anti-drip uh, device. Okay? So, 
The final parts of this coffee machine can be easily detached and are dishwasher safe and you can just hand wash the parts with soap and water. This is the carpet. Just pull out the carpet. Kailangan mo lang ingatan to kasi pag mga sira to, you cannot buy a carpet. Any coffee maker has its own size, shape, design of carpet. So pag masira to, di ka na pwedeng bibili ng spare okay i don't know if my if yung uh, manufacturer nito is me si pariksa dito na spare okay pag masira to wala na goodbye <laughs> okay mamumuma manual ka lang okay so that's it kung makikita nyo again the level of the uh, the uh, carafe is 246 i'll discuss later kung ano ibig sabihin ng 246 na yan okay then sa likod ng uh, device, nandito yung water tank. What is good with this coffee maker is matanggal yung water tank niya. So, it's so easy to fill water and it's it's also easy to clean the water tank. Unlike the other co other coffee makers na nakadikit yung water tank niya, so mahirap linisin. Ito, madali lang. Pili mo linisin agad. Okay. And the label here is also 2, 4, and 6. I'll also explain that measurement later. So as I said earlier, it is recommended to use a coffee paper or coffee filters. It is, yeah. uh, I bought this brand. Binili namin is number 4 because uh, yung dati namin coffee maker malaki. It's good for 8 to 12 cups. Ito is only good for 6 cups. In fact, the water tank here is only a, a capable of about 0.8 liter or about 800 milliliters yung size niya. So, malit lang. Ito siya. Yung coffee, yung coffee filter niya is pang malakihan siya. So, ito kailangan mas maliit. Kasi maliit lang yung funnel niya. Now, since this is number 4, we should use actually number 2. Now, what we're going to do is I cut the <laughs> paper so that it's easy to use it and it's easy to use it here in the panel. So, this is what I'm going to do. So, let's remove it. Then, this is the filter. So, let's just put it here. Let's go. Okay. Then, the Final cover, nalagay mo lang. Dito so. Okay? Ano lang siya. Now, for coffee, so after several attempts, I was able to perfect my taste of coffee. So, depende yan sa'yo at saka depende sa brand of the ground coffee. Okay? So, anong klase na kape, depende yan. But for me, ito siya. Um, the guy ko is about um, four scoops. And this is equivalent for one mug of coffee, okay? So, maglagay tayo na ang apat na scoop. Um, sabi ng vendor, this is Batangas coffee. But I don't know if it's Barako because parang hindi Barako yung amoy niya. <laughs> so, ito na. Apat na siya. Okay? So, ito na ang tubig ko. Titingnan nyo. The amount of water is just above the uh, level 2. It's not also level 3 between 4 and 2. But, medyo mataas lang konti ng number 2. I'll tell you why, kung bakit ganito. Okay? Kasi, this amount of water will produce a mug of coffee. Exactly a mug of coffee. So, yun. Ganun ang kadali paglagay sa water tank. Now, when you operate this, kung ground coffee ginagamit nyo, just press this sign, this, yung may, may scoop ng coffee. Iilaw yan. Then, pagkatapos, you turn on the on and off power switch. And in just few seconds, mag-start na ang brewing nito. So, ito, nag na ang brewing. Then, after a few minutes, pagkatapos nito, pagbibit siya, that is the sign na tapos na ang brewing niya. Pwede mo na kunin yung uh, 
karafe. And uh, if you want to stay the plate, plate na wainit siya, huwag mo i-turn off. I-on mo lang siya, pabayaan mo, para kung may matira pang kape dito, may iinit siya. But it will only stay on until 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, automatically, the coffee maker will shut off. Yun, nagbibib na siya. It means tapos na ang brewing niya. So, may pang last pa siya. <laughs> Actually, iniinti lang niya yung, tank, yung water tank. So, to make it sure na wala ng tubig. So, wala ng tubig actually doon sa water tank. Kasi pag lalagyan mo ng maraming tubig, dadaloy yung maraming tubig dito sa karat. Eh. So, it means more coffee. So, kailangan, kung gusto mo is one mug lang, kailangan tamang-tama lang yung tubig na ilagay mo doon sa water tank. Or, or else, dami mong kape na magawa. <laughs> So, pwede natin i-off to, pwede rin hindi. So, pero wala na kasing laman dito, kung one mag lang, so i-off ko lang ito siya. Okay? Then, the status ng brewing is still on, but in a while, mag-off na rin siya. So, ito na. Kita ko sa inyo. Yung level ng kape is between 4 and 2, so it means it's about 3. Okay? It's about 3, ang yung level of measurement. And here's the mag, ang mag. Ipupour in natin yung kape. Titingnan natin. Sabi ko, this is equivalent to one mug. Titingnan natin kung tama ko ha. <laughs> Tingnan nyo. Oh, you see? Tawang tawa lang. Okay. Ganoon siya. Yun ang sikreto. And I'll tell you later kung paano ko na-determine yung amount, yung exact amount of uh, water para makapag-brew uh, ka ng isang mag lang ng kape. By the way, I use sweetener instead of instead of sugar for my coffee. Just dalawang ganito, tamang-tama na para sa kape ko. Ready na tayo para mag-grind ng coffee beans. Di muna tayo gagamit ng ready-made ground coffee. Although, ang resulta ng grinding is also ground coffee. However, this coffee maker mismo ang mag-grind ng beans. But before the grinding, ipapakita ko muna how I arrived at the exact measurement of water for brewing. I have here a regular cup, a mug, the carafe or coffee maker, and the water tank of our coffee maker, we're going to calibrate the measurement of the carafe and the water tank because it seems the two are not in sync. What is two, level two in the water tank would be more than two here in our carafe. So like, we'd like to check if uh, how much is level two here when it comes to the proper measurement. Now, we're going to use a calibrated cup. This calibrated cup is usually used in labor laboratory settings. So well, let's pour in this uh, regular cup. So that's it. So that's 210 cup. And normally, depending on where you are located, if you are in the United States, in New Zealand, and at, at sa ibang bansa, the cup is about 250 ml. So, malaki yung cup nila. But if you are in Korea and Japan, the cup is only at 200 ml. Maliit lang. If you are in uh, the United Kingdom, mas malaki. It's about 283 ml. But if you are in Canada, it's about 227 ml. Pero mga tao doon nag-adjust na, na naging ano na siya, 250 ml na ang ginagamit nila. So, in this particular uh, cup, Tamang tama na yung level niya, nasa 210 ml siya. Dito naman tayo ngayon sa mag. Try natin. This is 210 ml. Tingnan mo, di siya napuno. So, dagdaga natin siya. Try natin. Kasi usually, mag is, a, is about times 2 of the size of a cup. So, kanina, nilagay natin is... Uh, 210 ml so yung measurement ng uh, 
cut off eh, makibababasa mo yan, that's 2, 4, and 6. So that means 6 cups ang capacity ng caraffeine ito. Now I have here a 210 ml or 1 cup of water. Try natin, lagyan natin ng tubig kung saan siya abot. Ito na transfer ko. So, talagang nasa number 2 siya. So it means the measurement 2 here is equivalent to 1 cup. Okay? So ganoon siya. I-try natin ilagay dito sa water tank tong tubig galing sa karafe. Let's open this. Oh yeah. Okay. Then, tingnan natin. Ang tubig, saan siya? <laughs> Ang layo niya. Wala, wala sa half ng level 2. So, in other words, the 2 here in the water tank doesn't mean 2 cups. Oh no, 1 cup. It doesn't mean it is 210 ml. So, kailangan ma-measure natin yan. Our conclusion now is that the measurement 246 in the carafe doesn't mean it is 2 cups, 4 cups, 6 cups respectively but it is 1 half actually it's 2 means 1 cup, 4 means 2 cups and 6 means 3 cups now on the other hand the 2 here in the tank doesn't correspond to the 2 in the carafe and 4 also doesn't correspond to 4 in the carafe the 6 in the water tank doesn't correspond to the 6 in the carafe because if you pour the 210 ml of water which is also equivalent to the measurement 2 here will only reach less than half of that level 2 on the water tank Okay, so when you want to brew coffee for just a cup, then you just put water just about half of this level or one, level one. Then you will have a measurement of two brewed coffee here. It's good for one cup. But if you want a mug and since a cup is, is since a mug is times two of a cup, then the level of the brewed coffee should reach about four in order to reach the or to fill in the mug okay so the water should also be at more than two or about uh, uh, level three here so naglagay ko ng uh, about 420 ml ng tubig so bali dalawang cups or isang mug doon sa um, water tank so nakita nyo the level of the water is in between 2 and 4 it's about 3 so that's about 1 mug at titingnan natin kung uh, exactly yung magiging brewed coffee ay abot ba ng 1 mug or 4 sa level dito so hanggang dito ang level ng brewed coffee so out of the 420 ml na nilagay ko na tubig doon sa water tank na exactly nasa level 3 siya doon sa water tank dito ang brewed coffee ang finished product niya hindi siya umabot ng 4 so more or less siguro uh, isang mug lang to or hindi siya aapaw ng isang mag ititingnan natin transfer natin to sa mag so ito na yung uh, coffee niya tingnan natin lagay natin dito sa mag Oh, actually, sobra. So, sobra na isang mag ang nagawa niya. Oh. Tingnan mo. Clear pa siya. And time for grinding fresh coffee beans. Remember, this machine is automatic coffee brewing machine. It grinds fresh coffee beans into ground coffee and brewed it immediately. Maglagay lang tayo ng beans dito sa bean mugs. Kahit punoy natin ito, okay lang. 
Then cover the box and set the appropriate setting for grinding. The knob here can be set from fine to coarse. Again, the manufacturer is recommending to put the setting in the middle. The grinder is a special burr grinding system. Ano ba yung burr grinding? I think the simplest comparison is it is not using blades. Blades cut coffee beans into pieces while burr grinder crushes the beans parang iniipit ang beans in between two hard objects which are the burrs. The manufacturer of this machine says the burr grinder is designed to precisely cut the coffee beans in, into uniform sizes so there is no over extracting or under extracting. The coffee will also release the aroma while grinding because the beans are crushed. To start the process, you choose 2, 4, or 6 for the amount of beans. As we have proven earlier, the 2 here is not really 2 cups but only a cup. 4 is only 2 cups and 6 is only 3 cups. I will choose 2 for this brewing. If you want strong coffee, then turn on this button and turn it off if you want light coffee. I chose light. I'm now set to start grinding and brewing by pressing the on and off power button. I noticed that under light setting, grinding took only 9 seconds, which means fewer coffee beans were grinded. Brewing will also last about 8 minutes, just like using ready-made ground coffee. The taste of the coffee is really lighter than setting the brewing at strong. Kung gusto mo magtimpla ulit ng kape, you can add another fresh beans here kung wala na siyang laman. But be sure na yung funnel niya ay empty or hindi papuno yung uh, nilagyan mo ng lumang ground coffee kung nagbubrew ka earlier, okay? Or you can still use the same ground coffee, di ka na mag-grind ng bagong fresh beans, but... Uh, Magbubrew ka na lang using the ground process So instead of uh, uh, using the grinder Diretso ka na dito Mag-press yung sa, para sa ground coffee Then pagkatapos uh, You just uh, turn this off Para uh, Tika mo na ha Yun <laughs> So Ganina kasi Nag-grind tayo kaya naka-on yung 2 kanina So you press again para ma-off yung number 2 here Okay? Yun bala Okay then pagkatapos yan So naka Ano ka? Ground coffee process ka na Just turn it on And in few seconds Mag-brew-brew na yan Yun So this is already a second run brewed coffee out of the previously uh, brewed coffee. Um, remember, nagiling tayo ng fresh beans, then nagbrew tayo. Then after a few hours, binubrew natin ulit yung naggrind na coffee na nasa loob pa ng panel. And still, it, and it tastes okay still. <laughs> So yun, meron na kayong uh, mainit na kape and using this affordable coffee maker, it's a two-in-one, again, two-in-one coffee maker. It can grind coffee beans. You can also use ground coffee for your brewed coffee, okay? And again, this is only about 3,000 pesos available online. This is distributed by the King Store in the Philippines. So, uh, bilhin na kayo, okay? Maraming salamat! Until the next time, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click that notification bell. Hi, Tikibai! Ako si Jun Tariman.